Good morning, everyone. Good to see you this morning. Thank goodness it's Monday. This is the day that God has given us to engage the world for His glory. Uh, let's read Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God placed the man and woman in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. The Lord God placed the man and the woman in the Garden of, the garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. If you thought Garden of Eden paradise, this paradise, this created place that God specially made for humanity is a state of passivity, uh, you'd be shocked to find out that paradise is not a state of inactivity. The paradise, according to the Word of God, includes meaningful and soul-satisfying work. See, God created man and woman to work and to take care of the garden. Work is not the result of the, of the fall result of sin. Toil and sweat and difficulty behind work is. But work is good. Because even without the fall, we would be working. Because work is a godly activity. We are being like God when we work. Because God is always working. God did not create man and woman, humanity, and put them in the Garden of uh, Eden and say, don't break anything, don't, you know, just stay put, don't do anything. Well, in fact, he says to Adam and Eve and all humanity, right? No, go break the ground, plow the ground, work the ground, make it more beautiful than it is now. And the question is, how do you make paradise better, right? Well, according to the Bible, by tending it according to your gifts and talents that God has given you. Hey, maybe grow a rose in a different part of the garden. Maybe grow a different color rose, chop down a tree and, and carve out a canoe and go down the river, right? Develop an automatically watering system. Uh, make a musical instrument and, and make music in your garden. Uh, engineer a car, a plane, right? Create an iPhone, you know, make it better than it was before. So you and I are created to work. So when we don't work, we're not being, when we are not being productive, we're not being fully human. When you give yourself to alcoholism and laziness and drugs and just sit around all day, that in fact destroys the imageness of God in each one of us. See, the problem with retirement without meaningful volunteer activity that improves upon creation is that our humanity is not fully engaged. No wonder. We read article upon article about those who have retired early or later find themselves struggling with depression and, and loneliness. Exodus chapter, 20, uh, chapter 34 verse 21 says, Six days you shall work. That verse is about observing Sabbath. But if you notice that portion of the verse, six days, you what? You can work or you might work. No, you shall. So you're not only created to work, but you're commanded to work. Why? Because work is good for you. Meaningful work will give you a sense of meaning and purpose that we all need deep down in our soul. So friends, look at your work differently today. Instead of grudgingly engaging yourself in it, instead of complaining about it, see the goodness of work that God has given you. See where you can honor God today with your work. Fully engage in your work. You're like God when you're fully utilizing your gift and creativity to engage in your work for the glory of God. And I believe that's what Paul meant when he said, do all things unto the Lord. Pursue excellence, whatever you do, to glorify God. So today, my friends, have an excellent winning day as you pursue God's glory in your work by fully engaging in it with the gift and the creativity God has given you. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.